All right, I'm here with uh, Nick Moose Schrock, and uh, he's leaving this week for Abu Dhabi to compete in the World Pro. Uh, Moose, tell us a little bit about what it was like to, to compete in the Montreal Trials and win the Absolute. Well, Montreal was a, a lot different than any other tournament I've ever done. It was probably the most stressful tournament I've ever done because normally when we go out to Pans and the Worlds, we take a whole team about like seven to ten people. We kind of have a good time and just go out, but I went up to Montreal by myself. I went to Montreal because I booked New York to do New York, and then they canceled it like two weeks prior. So then I booked Montreal. The second I booked Montreal, they rescheduled New York, so I was pretty frustrated. But I went up there, and I was kind of just the only place I saw was uh, the hotel room, hotel restaurant, and then the arena. So up until the time where they raised my hand in the absolute, I was like, it was the most stressful time ever. Thought I did pretty good. I had had a bunch of matches. Uh, it's only three matches that I didn't sub the guys, which were two of the semifinals and finals, which was wish I could have got a sub in there, but it doesn't always happen. So the the World Pro isn't the first tournament you've done really well, and you you won the Pans uh, several years in a row. You took second in the Pan Absolute Blue Belt several years ago. What's it like to be uh, atop of a Blue Belt division, and uh, what's it like to compete? Uh, at the high level like that? Well, I, I don't like to think of it like that. I just like to think of it uh, one match at a time. I've always thought, like, hey, you win your first match, you're going to win the whole thing. <laughs> so I just think of it as, like, everybody's the same. It's like nobody's, nobody's better than the guys that I train with. So I just think, say, hey, it's just another day in the mass. What are you looking forward to the most competing in the World Pro? World Pro, I just, I just love the stage. It's like, like I want to be the best in the world. I want to try to take this as far as I can. It's just like say, hey, these are literally the best people from every single country that train jiu-jitsu, and they're all going to be in one spot at one time, and I get to really test my abilities against the best guys, and hopefully I'll walk away with a division and an open weight. What kind of things have you been doing to prepare yourself for uh, such a high level of competition? Well, obviously, I roll as much as I can. I cross-train a lot between a bunch of academies. My main academy is JW Wrights. It's got, best, my opinion, best jiu-jitsu in um, St. Louis. Just a lot of upper belts. JW is a great instructor. Then I also I, uh, I hit the weights pretty hard, I think, because I come from a football background, so I've always been into weightlifting. And then lately I've been adding a lot of like jump rope and stairs and some more just like some stuff I just see from like Andre Gaval and just some weird workouts, which I think might help, a lot of gi pull-ups, just the more different stuff I can find, that's what I like to do, because it's a little bit more fun, a little bit unique, and it shocks the body a little bit. And, and so is your approach, whenever you, you come in and training for these things, you, are you trying to get stronger? What's, what's your idea behind some of the, this, this uh, different kinds of training that you do? Um, like stronger, yeah, I don't, I don't really like to do real, real heavy weights, just like, which I used to do in my football career, I used to just try to do like one set maxes, which is just standard football player, but now it's like, since in jiu-jitsu, you don't want to be real big, because there is weight divisions, and it doesn't help to be 220 pounds, it's better to be a little bit smaller, more agile, real flexible, and just have like endurance grip strength is what I found is it would be a huge factor in tournaments. So I've really worked that a lot and I really work to have long last because you might have eight matches in a day so you can't just be a uh, just one hitter quitter. you got to be able to go the whole time, be able to consistently use your strength in the right times at the right place because you might only use your strength three times in a match but it's got to work when you do. Speaking of weights and um, and uh, being too big for a weight class and that sort of thing, um, uh, you don't cut any weight, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, for your weight class, and you're generally about a foot shorter than most people in your weight class. Do you feel like that's to your advantage or is there a strategy behind that? Um, the height, I don't know if that's an advantage. Um, I like, like, some people think I'm a judo player, which I've heard in the past, but I, I'll pull guard fast, just as fast as anybody. But... I don't know. I like. I hate cutting weight. I don't know. This is. I'm. I'm fighting 194, 
So this is the first time the first time I've actually gone down to 194. I usually weigh in about like 201 with a gi on, and I fight 207 and a half, which I just think it helps me a lot because I'm hydrated. I'm just like I'm not worried about it. A lot of people I've just seen stress, and they're jumping rope, they're cutting weight right before they walk on on the mats. So and the only reason I'm going down to 194 for the World Pro is because it's like a day and a half prior weigh-in. So I'm still going to be fine walking in. I'm not going to be dehydrated. I'm only cutting like six pounds. But yeah, I'd I think it's a big advantage to not cut weight. Outside of uh, the tournament, what, what kind of things are you looking forward to while you're in Abu Dhabi? Abu Dhabi, uh, I don't know. I'm really just looking forward to the tournament because I'm gonna. there's going to be a lot of guy, good guys there. I mean, I'll, I'll probably sightsee a lot, but most of our free time is before the tournament. So I'm I think my most memorable part is just seeing those the top level guys being there and being standing next to some of the best black belts in the world. Be like, oh man, this is the coolest thing in the world. This guy's standing right here. I've been watching his YouTube videos forever. Great. Th thanks for your time today, Moose. Good luck. Good luck at the World Pro. Yep.